after bringing you some awesome apps for this month of july here is a list of some more incredible android applications for you to try to level up your android usage game this application called priorities takes a slightly different perspective to task management and you are going to love it you know most to-do applications have these fancy color coding and categories task labels and so much more which is all great but truth be told, most users do not even go back to these applications after filling it with so many tasks. Priorities brings a very simple and straightforward approach. You simply add a list of tasks and select three as favorites or of high priority, just like you do in a physical diary. And once you get any of them done, you just enter the application to take them. Trying this every single day, you will get really good at getting tasks done and with the history section, you can see your progress so far. The clean and minimal UI of the application will definitely make you come back to it. It is a free application, so try it out if you are not a fan of fancy and complex to-do applications. If you love free and open source offline music player applications, then check out this one called Symphonica. This one has a very clean and minimal material UI interface. You can create a new playlist, add songs to favorites, and even use the shuffle button to listen to music randomly from your list of songs. The app also creates a daily shuffle of songs also in random to make you listen to different genres of music made into one playlist and even allows you to reshuffle with a tap of the refresh button. And speaking of playlists, you can create a new playlist as I mentioned and it also has a sleep timer. It is a newly designed application but still looks great. Do you always find it difficult choosing who to perform a task at random or who among your friends should pay the bills or even who should start something? Well, this lightweight application called Chooser can stay on your phone and help you in these situations. How this application works, you simply put your fingers on it and with the colors, the app makes the selections. There are other different modes like dividing people into groups and others. So with this application, you can easily choose who to start a game or easily divide yourselves into groups. This is a very fantastic application which is less than 1 megabyte. It can stay on your phone unnoticed and will be very useful whenever you need it. VentNote is a note-taking application with an easy and straightforward interface. Similar to the Notepad, this application has no fancy text formats or editing features, no categorization or note labels or groupings, you simply tap to add a note, enter title and then just add the note. With this user-friendly interface, this application serves as a place to quickly jot down ideas. Some extra features though, you get to change the accent color and also switch between light and dark modes. As a pro user, not only should you be interested in customization and enhanced features, your interest should also be in the internals, the system which holds the device. With this application called Amperflow, you will have much more insight in the state of your battery, especially the charging and discharging state. Whenever you insert your charger, the application will bring up an always-on display to display the charging statistics, the battery health, and also shows you the exact battery percentage, voltages, and so much more information. And all these are very useful information you should know, and in the application itself, you have some customization options and some settings to make you get the most out of this application. Still on device system and battery, if you do believe that overcharging your phone's battery or overusing it to the last percentage can cause the battery health to reduce over time, then with this application called Health Battery Charging, you can get notified on when to charge your phone and when not to, depending on the high and low percentages you log into the application. By default, it shows you should insert your charger at the 40% mark and remove it around the 80% mark. This way, you can maintain the strength of your battery, so once you allow all the necessary permissions after you install the application, you are good to go. Click on the card at the top right corner to watch the incredible Android applications I reviewed in my previous video. Also, click on the video at the end screen if you love home screen customization videos. If you love this video, then consider subscribing to the channel and also leave a like on this video and as always, thank you for watching.